Toby Love here with Cross Country Mortgage. And this week I'm coming to you and talking about condo questionnaires and just condos with conventional conforming in general. I'm seeing a lot more come across my desk. Could be because they're a little bit more affordable. Although sometimes once you get those HOA fees in there, the payment can be just as high as a single family residence at a higher price. Before I jump into all of that, if you're finding value in my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Whenever a client is purchasing a condo, we're not only qualifying the buyers, but we're also qualifying the property being a condo. So what does that mean? Well, on a conventional conforming loan, we have to have what they call a condo questionnaire. So the condo questionnaire is something that we get from the HOA, Homeowners Association, and it gives us a whole bunch of information about the community. Now, what happens once we receive that is it goes to our condo department for review. We have one of those. So they are strictly dedicated to reviewing those condo questionnaires. And sometimes if there's any challenges to ar that arise from it, they can be handled and um, as, the, as that review is going on. Now, condo questionnaires do cost money. I've seen them from $100 to $400, and that, simp that is usually a buyer cost. So something to be mindful of. A couple other things is rates are just a little bit higher on condos. Sometimes it can affect the terms and cost a little bit more just because of the additional fees that are required for those HOA questionnaires, docs, different things like that. So just a few tips and things to watch out for on condos. If you have any more questions about it, please don't hesitate to reach out and I'll see you soon. Bye.